Let's start with Minnesota Green Bay. Minnesota is a five-point underdog here. What do you think? I'll go Minnesota. I like their, I like them at the line of scrimmage. It's going to be awful weather. They're still a mess at quarterback. This is a close, ugly game. I agree. The Sharps agree. And here's, here's why, though. It's really about the value. We've talked about Aaron Rodgers and how he would be 10 po the Packers would be 10 points better yes. with him playing, right? So that means that line is Green Bay minus 15 if Aaron Rodgers is playing. That's in, in sort of Vegas math. That's sure. what they're saying. Green Bay is not a 15-point favorite over Minnesota if Aaron Rodgers that's is playing. Right. So that means there's value in this game at minus five. And that's always been really what the wise guys seek. They seek value, and the value is with Minnesota. Absolutely. Next up. Next up, New York Jets at Baltimore. I, I want to. I want to go with the Jets. Do because it, again, man. lousy weather and Chris Ivory's running. I, I, I passed on it, but if I had to, I'd go Jets. All right, so the Sharps are going Jets, too, and there's a couple of reasons here. One, you've got a little bit of inflation because Baltimore played well against Chicago, and the Jets completely did so badly. They just blew it against the Bills, right? So that's number one. Yeah. Number two, Baltimore's rush offense, yards per play, bellwether stat. We love to talk about that, right? 31st in the league. Yeah, you've said that. The, the yards per play, they're a mess. Mess on the rushing side. On the rushing side, who's the best yards per play rush defense in the NFL? New York Jets. So you're saying this is 17-16. All right, so let me read you a stat because you get all that together, right? So you know that Baltimore is going to be in a lot of third and longs. Yeah. Football Outsiders. I'm going to read this. I wrote this down. According to Football Outsiders, on third and more than seven yards, Joe Flacco has produced just 26 first downs in 78 attempts, seven INTs, and 11 sacks. And they get you into third and long. That's, what it's, that's what's going to happen. Why didn't you tell me earlier in the week? You can still make your play, brother. There's time. All right, next up. Pittsburgh at Cleveland. Okay, Cleveland, a two-point favorite. I don't like that. Um, but they did win. Maybe it carried. That's not a big enough number. I, they're better at quarterback. I'd probably take Pittsburgh. All right. So you're wrong. And they're going to be, the Sharps are going to be on Cleveland. And the Sharps always like Cleveland. Hey, Sharps, how's that working out for you? It's actually working out pretty well. They like Cleveland because of the defense. Cleveland has the best yards per play defense in the NFL. But they also like it because there's a little value here. Cleveland last week got blown out by Cincinnati. Two of those touchdowns against Cincinnati were flukes. It was a fumble return for a touchdown and a punt return. A punt. So the Sharps punt see that. Those are not regular Those scoring opportunities. They don't opportunities. look at the final score. They're looking at the whole game. Okay, they see the okay. whole board. So they like, they like Cleveland here. Okay. Next up, Chicago with St. Louis. St. Louis, one and a half point favorite. St. Louis is so odd. They, they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Seattle and San Francisco. I'd probably take St. Louis at home. All I'd... right. The Sharps are taking St. Louis I'll at come. home. Statistically, these two teams match up perfectly, right? Chicago has the better offense. St. Louis has the better defense. All right. So you're basically getting two evenly matched teams. You get evenly matched teams, the home team would normally be favored by three points. All That's right. what home field is worth. They're only favored by a point and a half. There's a little more value on St. Louis. Also, here. when you're not great on the offensive front, Tommy knows his Bears. They're not great on the offensive front, right? Is that fair to say, Waddle? I, I think that's fair. Okay. Yeah. They're really good on the defensive front. Yes. They can make things very uncomfortable if you don't pass block especially well. True. Next True. up. Tennessee at Oakland. Tennessee is a one and a half point favorite. <laughs> Do I have to watch this game? If you I don't have it? to watch it. I I'd take Oakland maybe. <laughs> All right. Well, the Sharps are on Tennessee, but there's a caveat here because the game opened at Oakland minus one and the Sharps immediately took Tennessee as the underdog and they flipped it. So you got two, four and six teams here, right? Tennessee, as a 4-6 and six team, has had a lot of close claims. Only one double-digit loss this year. Oakland can't string anything together. They won last week. 7 of 10 games, 20-plus points or more allowed. Yeah. That's one of those games the Sharps win. When they flip a number... They usually... They, when they flip the number, they've usually gotten the best of the number. Absolutely. Right. Uh, okay. A couple of biggies here. Denver and New England. I've already told you how I feel about this. I, it's going to be a lousy weather game. Brady's a very good cold-weather quarterback, by the way. Belichick and Brady are unbelievable at home. They're coming off a loss. Everything to me points to New England plus the points. All right, this is the toughest game, toughest game all week for guys to handicap, right? They're actually split on this particular game. They like Denver at two and a half. It's going to go back up to three, and they like New England at three. So and you think gonna, it will go back up to three? Oh, I think it's definitely going to go back to three because also here's the thing. Two to one tickets coming in on Denver right now. So this line as it, get, as the, as it gets closer to yeah, the Yeah, but game, if it's two to one on Denver, don't the Sharps go against the public? The Sharps are going against the public, but they'll like it at three. And so they'll buy Denver back at three. And so they'll, they'll, buy, they'll buy New England at three. I apologize. So when it gets to three, they'll take New England. At two and a half, they're going to like Denver. Yeah, that's why they do it for a living, and I don't. Exactly. Dallas at the New York Giants. I, I've told you, I'm all in on It's one of my strongest plays of the yep. week. I'm taking the Cowboys for the record. Underdogs in Dallas games do really well. Right. 
this is the lesser of two evils, and the Sharps are going to be with you. They're going to be on okay. Dallas. The game opened at three. They bet it down to two and a half. It's what, you know, a Sharp told me it's a home run situation for Dallas. Why? Coming off the bye. Why? The last game they played was New Orleans getting blown out. And so for two weeks, they've, they've marinated yes. as Dallas radio. Everybody's clobbering the yes. Cowboys. And that is what everybody remembers who is betting this game, and they also see the Giants being on a, on a real streak right now. So there's actually a little bit of value on the Cowboys because people have lower expectations. Okay. Um, now, this next game to me, I am flummoxed by this. Yes, in the I don't get it. How in the world they can be the favorite? I get the better quarterback. I get a team that's playing for something, and they're not going to make the playoffs. They've beaten a bunch of dogs. Explain all these Vegas guys how they like Arizona. All right, you and Waddle the Sweater, you're thinking like squares right now, okay? <laughs> because, because the Sharps are going to be in Arizona. I don't get and it. This game, this game opened at Arizona minus one and a half, and they have all bet it up. And the public loves Indianapolis. The public loves it. Andrew Luck is a miracle worker. And that's why everyone thinks that, that's why everyone thinks Indy is going to win this game, because they see, the, they see the sort of the highlights and they see the drama around Andrew Luck. So the Sharps are basically saying these are the same teams. They're the same teams. He just pulls off stuff at the end. Same team. Same, you know how we had St. Louis, Chicago. St. Louis is a one and a half point favorite. Arizona opened one and a half point favorite. Now it's at where it should be. But you think about yards per play again, right? Past three games, Arizona a yard per play, one yard per play more than opponents. Indianapolis, one yard per play fewer than opponents. So again, when you dive and burrow into the numbers, same teams, the Sharps like the home team. The Sharps like the home team. By the way, before, before uh, we go, Auburn, Alabama play. Yep. It's uh, about 14 and a half yep. points. Yep. So Alabama is the favorite. I don't know if you've noticed this, but Alabama has struggled, this is interesting, through the years against Auburn's really good teams. And my producer, uh, Vince, over there, he found this. I want you to burrow in on that. Okay. You run a magazine. I'm going to look it up. Why don't you do something on that? i got a lot of people working for me. We're going <laughs> to figure it out.